Hi guys, my name is Mitz from tipsforpc.com and I am signed in to my AdSense account and I'm going to show you how to uh, make an ad. Okay, just quite simple. So what we want to do is we're going to make an ad, um, a text ad. So we're going to press on AdSense for content. Now I'm actually, if you have a look up here, um, I'm in AdSense setup. Now you must have an AdSense account to get into any of this. Okay, so if you've got an account and it's all set up, we can go to AdSense setup. Okay, and then press on AdSense for content. Right, now it wants to choose from a link unit or an ad unit. Now, I like the um, ad units, I'm not too keen on the link units, which are these. Okay, so we're going to go for an ad unit and we've got a choice here whether we have text and image ads, text ads only or image ads only. So I usually go for the text ads. Okay, now it just depends on where you want to put this ad and stuff like that with which one you choose. So now we're going to press continue. Now we get to choose how it looks. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is Look, I know all these ads already and what size they are and stuff like that. So if you're not sure about which one you want to choose, um, you can press on this link here, okay? And it'll give you a, an idea of the formats. We'll open it up fully. So there we go. It's got a leaderboard, 728 by 90, and this is what it looks like. Uh, 468 by 60. 125 by 125 etc etc if you keep going down and you might see an ad and you go oh okay this is the perfect size for me it's 250 by 250 all right so what I'm going to do is close that window and go back to this one and look for the 250 by 250 ad and I'm going to choose it okay now I want to choose the color now purple is not good so just say that everything else is fine here's a sample of the ad over here okay everything else looks fine there's no background there's no border so I've made it all um, white so I'd see that the background is white so it blends in with the page there's a border which is white otherwise I'll show you this is what it looks like which is quite ugly okay so the most common thing is to make it white okay now let's see where is white there it is it's F F F F F F six F's okay and um, black is six zeros okay now don't ask me any other colors because they're really difficult to remember Alright, so just say I just want to just change the title here, so I'm going to choose a colour. Now you know the most popular one is blue. Okay, so let's have a look. We'll choose a blue one. Now we'll go over to the ad, it changes it straight away. There we go. Okay, now that ad looks pretty good. Um, so what it's going to do is end up like a 250 by 250 square, the one I showed you before. Now we're going to go down the bottom. Now we can press on preview this AdSense unit. Okay. It doesn't always come up for some reason. Okay, so don't ask me why. And it takes forever. So if you want to close it, Look, it's going to take ages and I can't even be bothered with that. So I just close it because I know what size it's going to be and I know what color it is because I can see it right there. So what we're going to do is go down further. Okay, so we've got a few more um, things here. We don't have to change every setting, but we do need to change some. So we've got a, um, a default font here. Um, Arial or Times 
Roman is usually um, what websites have, all of these. Um, if it doesn't look good, you can come back later and change the ad um, in the Manage Ad sections, okay? So we'll just choose the default and the font size. Now if it really looks huge, you want to come back in here and choose small or medium or something like that. But at the moment we'll just use a default size. Okay, now um, select a corner style. Now we don't have to do that because there's no border showing. Okay, if there was borders you could change it to rounded and stuff like that. Okay, but there is no border on this ad, so we don't need to do it. Okay, so we'll go down the bottom a bit far further. Um, okay, so over here it says we need to choose um, what to display if there are no relevant ads available. Okay, so um, I never have a problem with relevant ads. Um, there's always plenty available, so I just put show public service ads. Um, so when you first put your ad up, they might show public service ads, but later on when they get the idea of what your post is about, it never shows it again, so that's fine. Um, unless you haven't put your keywords and um, stuff into your you know, post, um, Google's pretty smart and knows what's going on so it'll find out what your um, what your post is about and it will put ads in it that relate to it okay so I don't really worry about any of that but basically if you do have a problem then you need to look into um, choosing something else here okay so at this stage now I press continue and I have channels um, so look I'm not even going to go into the channels just say you've got different websites um, you can make a channel for that so all you have to do is press on add channel add new channel and add it now and then you go and choose it like this you just press add and it goes over here okay now that will apply that channel to that it's, it's a label like um, if someone clicks on it then you'll know where it's been clicked okay you know which website or um, you can even have channels for pages and stuff like that alright so we're just going to press continue without a channel and um, now we can see that the AdSense unit name now when you start getting a lot of ad units you get confused so you want to put a little bit of a description in here um, forget about when it was created who cares about that you want to put 250 by 250 white and then blue that would tell you the size uh, and the background which I always do white anyway and then blue but um, because I do have black and all sorts of things as well so yeah so this will tell you um, basically about what it is okay and then you can press submit and get code okay let's press it okay so here it is now all you do is you copy that right you select it by making it all blue right click on it copy and now you go over to your website and you paste it into your HTML section okay now there's more tutorials on this website or well if you're not on the website um, make sure you click in the description and go to my website because there's more tutorials on how to put AdSense into a WordPress website or even into your HTML alright thanks for watching